I might be, I'm winning here. Oh, praise the Lord. I'm actually winning here. Praise the Lord. I'm winning. Okay. Round number one. Um, I'll minimize chat. Obviously we're going to just keep rolling. Give me one second. Um, okay, here we go. Game number one, we get E4. I'm going to play A6 here. Let's go C6 and D5. Of course, try to play a classic Karo Khan H3. Let's trade and go. Actually, H3 is not justifiable here. I, wait, did I play this guy in round one earlier? Wait, I literally played this guy in round one earlier. What the heck? I literally played this guy earlier. This is so weird. Didn't I? Let, wait, let me check my games. Actually, I can't check my games when I'm playing, but that's still really weird. So weird. Let's just go E6. I, I'm really just confused. Like, so weird. I literally played the same guy in round one of the previous events. So weird. Face. I'm a believer. Um. Next tournament will be the uh, St. Louis uh, 960 event. Now you can take the bishop here or the bishop. Um. I'm going to take the bishop here for more imbalance with the classic uh, opposite color B shops. Go here, maybe bishop C7. I mean, the, the opposite color bishop should be with the knight on F4 makes more sense. Mind. I might even try to castle queenside here. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually castle queenside. Yeah, I'm going to go long and play like knight F6 here. I don't know how great this is, but I feel like I'm going to get some kind of attack on the king side. I'm going to go F5, attack the knight. Could have played E5 too, but F5 makes a lot of sense. I'm going to play G6 to guard the pawn. I mean, maybe Queen F6 and G5. Like, maybe Queen F6 and G5 is actually better because now I'm not playing for what I want to be playing for. But nonetheless, I still should be better after E5. Yeah, this, this actually looks very bad because now I get the classic fossil with knight E5. And all of his pieces are very much on the wrong side of the board here. Like... There's a lot of issues with this knight on f4 in particular, and I should be much better. Should be much better here, but we'll see what he does. Hmm. Wait, what the heck? Takes? What am I missing? Like, knight d4 just loses to c5. He just loses all his pieces. Welcome back, everybody. This is GM Hikaru Nakamura, and I'd like to give a big shout out to Marvel Snap for sponsoring this video. Marvel Snap has not only taken the gaming world by storm, but also clinched the prestigious title of Mobile Game of the Year at the Game Awards back in December. And guess what? If you've been out of the loop or itching for some action, you're in for a treat. Marvel Snap has just fully released on Steam with widescreen support. For those who are new, Marvel Snap is all about epic card battles, lightning fast strategy, and breathtaking art from your favorite comic artists. It's the perfect blend of deck building and tactical prowess. With over 220 cards, each boasting unique abilities and a whopping 115 locations that can shake up the game dynamics, you'll be crafting strategies like never before. But that's not all, folks. To mark the Steam launch festivities, Marvel Snap is dishing out exclusive limited time login bonuses, and the excitement doesn't stop there. If you're a Twitch enthusiast, get ready to reap rewards between August 22nd and August 29th with the Twitch Drops event. It's the perfect opportunity to supercharge your deck with some awesome loot. I've been playing with an Electro deck, which has been yielding impressive victories thanks to the powerful synergy between Black Panther, Arnim, Zola, and Odin. Use the link in the description below to download and play Marvel Snap on Steam. By doing so, you'll unlock the exclusive Mech Devil Dinosaur variant. So, what are you waiting for? Let's dive into the world of Marvel Snap on Steam and let the epic battles begin. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't see it right off. Like, everything's under attack here. Okay, so wait, so C5, what am I missing? 
I, I don't even understand. Like he, I just pin the, I just pin the horse, and he's just losing. Unless I'm crazy. I mean, maybe I am crazy, and I'm overlooking something very obvious. But I don't even understand. Okay, so wait. So, okay, first of all, if I take what's he? There's also Knight H3, which is a move here. Um. Wait, no, actually, wait, no, sorry, what do I do? Takes, 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 I just win a piece. I mean, what am I smoking? Because takes, I just take the pawn. I'm blind. I just take the pawn with the rook. And after queen f4, I take the horse, and he loses the queen. And he's just losing the game with it. So, yeah, it's very easy. Yeah, I didn't see rook takes d4 for, like, 30 seconds. But now I guard the knight, and it's game over. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thank you, appreciate it. I don't know exactly what you said, but thank you. Um... I mean, he can play on, but uh, it's a bit much with all my dark square control and D's knights to expect to survive. I mean, he'll probably resign or not. Um, yeah, let's just go here. I've got the legendary triple stack. Just going to slide. <coughs> I actually hung queen c7, <coughs> but I'm still winning with rook d1 at the end. Yeah, I did hang uh, queen c7. It doesn't matter. So it's just <coughs> I'm just winning. I'm almost certain this is the guy. Did I play this guy in round one? Let me check my games. Uh, this guy, who did I, uh, I played this guy, what's his name? Dosto07. Um, not, uh, I played him in round one. Um, where was it? Uh, yeah, I played him in round one earlier title Tuesday. That is so weird, you guys. I literally played the same guy in round one. Dosto07. Yeah, I played him in the early title Tuesday. That's so weird that I played him in round one of the early one also. That's so... And with the same colors. That's so weird. So, so weird. Thank you so much to SSM for the 29 months. Appreciate it. Okay, Daniel wins get round one. Um, who's still playing? Uh, Wesley is uh, winning here. Queen H2. They have GMSW2017 for the five months. They have GSW. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah. It's all good. Anyway, anyway. Um... <clears throat> All right. Uh, Wesley's game should have been over. I, I, I... What's going on here? Why is Wesley... Wesley's just going to run his clock down? <laughs> they need a Bradley NZ for the prime. They need a Cru Cruz JBG for the seven. Wesley asserting his dominance here, by the way. Wesley asserting his dominance, trying to tell the guy to resign. Rook A3 is mate, or one of these rook moves on the third rank. Any any rook move. It goes rook E3. Um, thank you so much to that Nate Silver, thir 345 for the 30 months. Thank you so much to Nate Silver. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub, my man. Appreciate it. So. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> Boss Wesley, I mean, Wesley was trying to dominate him. That's what Wesley was doing. Big, big flex, yeah. Big flex, yeah. Yeah, big, big flex. So, all right. In the meantime, <clears throat> let's keep going. Uh, is that the real Nate Silver? Probably not, but who, who knows? Who knows? Uh, yeah, it's the evening title Tuesday, you guys. We're on one out of one, just waiting for round number two to start. Is Gucci Reza playing? Uh, there, he is not, or is he? Let me check. Nihal's playing. I didn't, I didn't see if Gucci's playing. Nihal won. No surprise there. Um, let's see. Gucci. I don't see Gucci. No, I don't see him. Yeah. Wesley is playing, though. Yeah. No, we're done with Marvel. We, we played Marvel for about, uh, like two and a half hours. So we're just having a lot of fun with the game. I might play it some more, um, uh, in the coming days. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if I do or, or don't. But at any rate, no, it's been, it's been, it's been good. It's been good, you guys. So we're having a great day. Uh, so far, one out of one. Uh, round number two should be starting momentarily momentarily there's still one game is it some kind of weird end game of course it's it's uh of course it's rook, rook versus bishop obviously obviously that's what it is so yeah of course that's what it is yeah yeah anyway maybe there's a chess kim for the 100 bits uh did i talk to wesley at the um at the world cup uh, not a whole lot. I got the sense that Wesley was struggling with sleep. Um, he struggled with like the time zone and sleeping and things. He told me that. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying that's the reason he played poorly, but he clearly was having issues too. So, um, yeah, I spoke to him a little bit, not a whole lot. 
So anyway, let's keep going round two. Okay, audio chat. Let's keep rolling. Play knight f3 here on b3. Uh, let's go b3 here. Play e3, maybe c4. I'm just trying to keep it very basic, play simple chess um, today versus like getting too deep into the weeds of, like theory. This, of course, is the Ready Nimzovich opening. I'm going to play like d3, knight e2, knight e5. Uh, Bobby Fischer actually played this quite a bit back in the old days. She goes g6. Um, I'm going to take and play d4. I think this is slightly dubious from her. Not like bigly dubious, but a little bit dubious. Um, that looks insane, actually. She's like creating all these double pawns. Doesn't look right at all. Okay, let's play knight a4, target the pawn. Uh, she's gonna have problems with this light square bishop. It's like the, all the pawns are in the light squares, but this bishop is like way behind everything. There's like no way to activate this bishop on d7, so I, I should just be already close to winning here. I don't know if I'm actually winning, but I'm, I'm very close. I, I think positionally very close to winning already. Okay, now I can take with a pawn, which I think is correct, just to go rookie one and check her. And I have knight e5, knight c5. I mean, all this stuff is really, really ugly for black. Like, knight e5 is very ugly. I'm threatening to take and fork her with knight b6. Uh, I have rookie one, I have knight b6, knight c5. I mean... Very, very ugly position for black here. Very, very ugly. Um, Rook A7 is a reasonable try. Um, I think I'm going to go Knight C5 here. She can just, she's going to have to actually take, because otherwise, she, again, there's a fork with Knight takes C6. Um, and now that it's just a Knight versus Bishop position, which is just going to be horribly miserable for her. Let's go Queen D4. Yeah, I mean, this Bishop on um, on D7 and long is going to be like absolutely a disaster. I'm going to go um, Rook E1, maybe stack the towers. Let's go b4 I, I don't need to take i could have played a4 to fix the pawn but i don't even care i'm just gonna go a3 just lock the chain and now i have like f4 i have like rookie three just a very very ugly position for white or for black to play here very very ugly position i wouldn't want to play this okay, she goes queen c7 so now i'm gonna go rookie three create the double stack with rookie one and I'm probably also going to start to massage the position with like h4 h5 down the road too um let's go h4 to play for h5 go like actually I can also go c4 now yeah let's go c4 because if she takes she hangs the bishop if bishop e6 there's knight to g6 which is simply gg who is this by the way is this Shuvalova it's Shuvalova okay I mean it's just a total disaster here for for black this bishop is just dead it's just a dead bishop without bishop e6 I mean it's just a total disaster she's gonna have to take on d5 and I mean even rookie one I mean, it's just also pleasant here I've got the connected chain of three past pawns I'm threatening knight g6 with rookie seven and the classic kebab I mean everything is just winning here everything is just winning everything is just gg why not she goes up four. Oh, is knight g6 takes rookie seven doesn't win I mean I'm just gonna take if she goes d4 I'll just take the pawn I don't even care it's just two pawns there is knight g6 which does win the game yeah, let's just go for this. It's probably the cleanest, safe way of winning the game. Rook g3, rook g5. Um, I, I can even take, but I don't want to let her get tricks with bishop c2 or something. But, okay, I mean, I can obviously take. Wait a second. Okay, I, I don't want to actually mess this up, so. I'm just thinking about whether takes is correct. And, I mean, this has to just be winning with c6, c7. Let's go c7. I'm like, rook c5 and now i go like rook d1 takes i mean it's just two, it's just up two pawns takes takes i mean if i can't win this end game it's my own fault hmm she has rook b1 which is a nice try um actually it's quite or no it's not a nice try I just go rook a7 never mind it doesn't matter that's very simple. <clears throat> oh, 
Um, okay, she resigns. We got the win. Two out of two. Let's keep moving. Um, let's see. Let's watch Daniel's game in round number two. I think it was Sword Melito for the gift of sub. Thank you, G3 Industries for the 15 and Kronkus Tatter for the five months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're the boss, uh, mister. You're the boss, applesauce, as the old saying goes. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens. Dan is a little bit better here in round two, but still a long way to go. Um, when Hikaru talks to a game, it seems so easy to talk it through. Yeah. I don't know who Shubalova would beat. Thank you to best guy for, best guy for the 100,000 or for the 1,000 bits. Um, I forget who she beat, but she beat somebody. Uh, I think it was Irene in the World Cup. I forget who she lost. She might have lost to Nurgle, actually. Did she lose to Nurgle, Sally Mova? I think Shubalova actually lost to Nurgle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I could be wrong. I think it was the R-Wing pilot for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, she did lose to Nurgle. Okay, so yeah. So exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Exactly, you guys. So, anywho, anywho. So we just keep moving forward. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just keep going, you guys. Keep going. Uh, I think Salamova got the GM title after her performance. Uh, she didn't get the GM title, but she will be a GM very soon. She will be, yes. Uh, she's a very, very good player. I actually played her in Title Tuesday a while back, and she she was pretty good. Thank you to Aryanuki Kiyotaka, or Aryan Kuji Kiyotaka. Uh, thank you so much for the Risa. Thank you for the three-month Risa. Uh, domo arigato. Um, okay, so we get G5 played here. Let's see what um, Mala will play, whether we get Queen H5, Knight G4, or something else. Um, I assume takes and then and the Knight G3 next one is my guess. Something like that. Although Knight G4 attacks the Queen on F6. So, yeah. Knight G5 with the, with the classic Fossil here. Uh, and he loses the Rook in the corner. Yeah. Aloha from Hawaii. You got a question. If chess pieces for StarCraft 2 units, what would they be? Uh, I mean, I'm not as familiar with StarCraft 2 as StarCraft. I mean, it depends what race you're talking about. I think what I would say is that in general, um, I would say battle cruisers slash um, carriers slash. Uh, what it, I, I assume Zerg is still Muta's, right? Is Muta's guardian? Is the Muta's guardian combo? I assume it's still the same. Um, but I would say basically carriers, um, carriers, and, um, and, and 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 BCs. And Mutas, Mutas are more or less probably like um, like the Queen. That's what I would say, objectively. They might have changed it, though. I don't, in StarCraft 2, is this, is this, for, was Zerg is it still Muta? Is it still Muta Guardian combo, or did they change the names? I'm not 100% sure if they changed it. But um, I'd probably say, objectively, it's like that. You could maybe say um, it's a little bit different. Like, I was trying to think, like, um, like see... Oh, they're called Broodlords in StarCraft 2? Wait. Um, wait, What? Uh, Broodlords. So Broodlords, do, do, can Broodlords shoot ground and air or not? Or are they, is it, is it, it's a powerful Zerg flying unit. Um, but Broodlords can, can, Broodlords can only shoot, um, can shoot what? They can only shoot ground. So Broodlords are basically like, um, they're like, um, they're like, uh, uh, it's a ground unit. I, my, my brain is fried. I can't think. Um, Yeah. I just, I can't think. They're, they're like the Guardians. Yeah, I mean, my brain's just fried. Sorry. Um, but that's what I would say objectively. It's kind of like that, probably. Yeah. Super GM forgets chess pieces. No, I'm forgetting the name of the units and what they do exactly. Yeah. They do to the Sleeping Cobra for the 11 months. But yeah, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm always too much pizza. No. I actually haven't had any food since the pizza, so... Um, no, I would say that my um, my personal favorite is I, I like like any terrible person. Uh, I'm a big uh, big fan of uh, of the Terran, and as as everybody knows, um, like I, I've watched a lot of Harston videos over the years, and as Harston likes to say, he says like Terran players are always like the worst behavior. They're always the ones who never say GG. They're always the jerks. Like they're they're always just bad people, basically. So of course, since that's obviously what I am, as 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 uh, as uh, oh Queen Five, oh my God, what is that? Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Um, yeah. So um, I was gonna say, as as uh, as as LSF would have you believe, I'm literally the worst person to ever walk the face of the earth. Um, so yeah. So of course I play with Terran, obviously. So anyway, Queen D two. This should be should be winning. Listen to Artos. I mean, I've watched I've watched a good chunk of Harstom's videos. Um, 
If white doesn't win this game, I'll be deeply ashamed. King c7 or king c5. Check and walk the king up. King d6, king c7. Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I mean the only I, like I wasn't gonna really talk about, but one thing I will say is like I, I, when I saw when I saw what was being said like uh, l last night, I was like, am I being punked or something? That's the only thing I would say. Like I really was like thinking to myself, am I being punked? Not that I mean most people who are alive right now probably didn't watch Punked, the Punk show on TV with Ash and Kutcher, but I was actually like literally thinking to myself, was I punked? Like, am I missing something? Like, did, did I just get punked? Because that's how out there it seemed. It just seemed like I was just like, what? I mean, I, it's like, I must be getting punked. That's, that's all I can say. Um, let's go C6 and D5. Uh, okay, let's go D5. We're playing Kleinbeer. Who is this? This is someone good, actually. I'm taking play E5. No, I'm going to go B5 because A6 supports the B5 pawn thrust. Um, it's kind of really dank. I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to go Knight F6 and maybe... I'm actually really confused by this game. Let's go knight b6 and knight c4, I guess. I don't know what. I, actually, I'm really confused. Let me let me reset. He takes, which I guess I'm happy to see. Um, goes around. I'm gonna go knight d7. I don't think the sack is actually good by my opponent. Like I was sort of expecting him to do it, but I don't think it's actually all that special. It could be a problem though. Um, I guess I'm gonna play C5 here. This is actually, I don't know if this is good or not. This looks kind of suspicious from me. I don't know if this is actually good. Okay, I'm gonna go Knight F6 and Bishop G7 and just castle. Um, yeah, it's a little bit suspicious. Hopefully not very sp suspicious, just a little bit suspicious. Let's see what we get here. Um, okay, I mean, I have to finish my development on the king side. If I don't finish my development, then I'm just going to get cooked like a goose. So I'll go here. It's a very ugly position that I have. Wait, why did I just castle as well? What the heck? What's wrong there? I was supposed to just castle. What the heck? Yikes. This is actually very scary. I'm going to have to be like really precise here to not get into a lot of trouble. Play this very badly. Now he plays B3, which I think I'm actually very happy to see. Maybe not very happy to see, but I think now I can at least try to do something maybe. Like, I have knight h5, maybe? I also have no, knight d7. Okay, somehow I have to activate. Okay, let's go rook b8. I need, I need to start moving quicker. Because my position's not very good here. I have a very bad position, objectively. Yeah. The queen h4. Um, such garbage. I guess I'm going to go knight h5. Okay, so we have rook to e3 being played. Uh, I can go rook f5 here. Or maybe... No, I think I'm going to go bishop d7 and try to activate the bishop maybe somehow. I mean, it's just such a bad position that I have this game. Such a bad position. Oh, and now I just hung a pawn too. What the heck was... Or wait. <gasps> wait, wait a second. I have bishop f6 maybe? I also have knight f4. Wait, wait a second. It's a little bit weird. Um, although I just blundered again. Yeah, I'm a little bit out of it. Typical title Tuesday in the evening. Oh, but he takes... Wait a second. Okay, slow down. I, I've got to be very careful how I do this. Cause like I'm.
I have 92, no? I might be, I'm winning here. Oh, Praise the Lord, I'm actually winning here. Praise the Lord, I'm winning. Let's take, and I can just take, and I block. Oh man, I'm so lucky, I was cooked so bad. He had C6, which was winning. C6 was GG, just easy peasy, and he tried to get fancy. And I, and, I, and I got really lucky with the classic uh, classic puzzle rush tactics. Yeah, it's just GG. Because if he moves the king, he gets ice skatered. And otherwise, I fossilize him with rook f7 or rook f3. Yeah, he's just lost. Mamma mia, that was close. Yeah, it's just GG. And now I just go check. Guard the bishop, and it's an ice skater. GG. Yeah. <laughs> garbage. Absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. But it's a win. It's a win, as we say. Absolutely not what I was hoping for, but it'll do. It'll do. Yeah. WWW, exactly. Yeah. 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 Totally. All right, they just stick scene stuff for two months of Sonic till appreciate it. Yeah, no, I mean it was completely lost. Very, very lucky. Um, I go here. Yeah, C six is just GG on the spot. He goes here. It's still kind of not lost, but yeah, it's a good thing you didn't do that to Gotti. He would report you exactly. Of course, you guys, totally, totally. Um, that's a funny one, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is, though. As the saying goes. Yeah. So, all right, let's keep going. Thank you to J, J Razak for the 13th. Thank you to Wingman for the 32 months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, explain what exactly? Um, yeah, one second. <laughs> <clears throat> one second you guys um all right waiting for round number three to begin sorry um i just noticed i have a sock that's up 30 percent after hours so i kind of need to sell it so give me one second um uh one second pull up a game let's see who's playing what's going on dania or nihal is winning here um there's going to be winning. One second. All right. Um, okay. So what's going on? Nihal's game still going. Queen G4 is apparently draw. Thank you, GM Maxi Vasha the Grav for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Daniel lost. Oh, Rook G. Uh, King G1. King of one. King one should be a draw. Yeah. Yeah. Wish talk? No, APLS. Um, yeah. Um, rookie four should be a draw. Rookie four, rookie seven. Yeah. Rookie seven, rookie seven. So, um, all right. So we have rookie seven, king e2, king d2 should be a draw here. Um, I think that is Maxime. I, I'd be surprised. Like this, that's a little bit out there. If that's not the, if that's not the real Maxime, like I mean, what's the, what's the point? Kind of. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, anyway, yeah. Okay. So, all right, back to, uh, back to the chess, of course. Let's keep going. Um, yeah. That was a win for Nihal. Okay, I mean, I wasn't watching super closely. Sorry, I was trying to, uh, get out of my position. Um, all right. So anyway, back to the, um, back to the games. We're, we're on, um, what are we on? We're on three out of three, I guess. And round number four coming up pretty soon. They have Danny, Danny's wrench for the 13. They have Jay Shaft TC for the three months as well. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah. So, all right, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling right on, uh, as we, as we do. Um, that's not the real one. Okay. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. Um, okay. White's going to win here. Danny got surprised, made it. It happens. Chess is a tough game sometimes. Stonks teaching stream. I mean, no, that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. No chance. Thank you so much to Bazcam for the 12 months. Thank you to Bazcam. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
Um, yeah. All right, round number four. Let's get going. We're on three out of three. Um, and off we go. All right, let's play. Oh, we're playing Tiger V Shalaf. Um, I'll play Knight of Three. No, I want to insult Gato. Let's play A3 just to just to annoy him. Uh, let's play Knight of Three. I'm gonna go C4 here. I I want to try to tilt Gato just a little bit this game. Who's B6? Seems slightly dubious. I'll take. I mean, he can take with the queen if he wants. Takes with the pawn. I'll go here, attack the pawn. D4 loses to queen A4. Thing is, I can also play D3 here. With bishop G5 ideas. I also have E4 ideas. I mean, I feel like what God has done this game is very slightly suspicious. Um... Maybe not slightly suspicious. This might be like very suspicious from Gata, actually. Okay, wait a second. This is definitely not right. I know that much. Um, wait, I know this is wrong, but I have to find the right sequence. Wait a second. I don't want to burn too much time either and get like really, really low on the clock. Knight G5 looks like a good move also. Uh, no, Knight G5 is wrong. Um, I'm just going to go Bishop G5. It looks like the traditional move. Oh, it doesn't. He has bishop e6. What am I doing? <sighs> Let's go d4. What am I doing? Okay, wake up. Yeah, I'll play rook d1 here. Go c4. Okay, I guess I'll play queen c2 here. I can obviously trade. I don't know if I want to, but I think I will. I'm going to trade and just castle and play like E4, E3. This is not a god of position either. This isn't the sort of position that god normally plays. He doesn't really play the Tarashas that much, so it shouldn't be a position that he's super familiar with, and therefore it should be easier for me to play this. It's actually very easy because I just want to go E4. I, I don't even have ideas. I just go E4 and play in the center of the board on this diagonal and in the center of the board. That's literally it. Goes rook c8. Now, I mean, e4 is the obvious question, whether it's the right move or not. Um, if I play e4 takes, queen e4, that's a question. e4 takes, d5 takes, takes, takes is no good. I mean, rook e1 also makes sense. e3 also is playable. Um, knight e5 is maybe playable too. I mean, e4 looks like the right move. Uh, I'm going to do it just because it looks right. Play with the queen. I want to play for d5 here. 97 is a good move, which of course I conveniently overlooked. Obviously. Um, let's go 95, I guess. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit, I'm feeling a little bit slow again. I'm starting to feel like the classic title Tuesday blues where I start to just feel a little bit slow, a little bit off, you know. Here. Oh, I think I think this is a mistake from Gata, though, because now I have Bishop F1. It was knight d4, I guess. So I guess I'll play... Ah, queen e3 is knight d4 anyway. I do have knight d5. Wait a second. Bishop f1, knight d4. Queen g4. <sighs> Thinking too long. Thinking too long. Come on, come on. Focus. I also have queen f4. Knight d4, maybe queen f4 is a move too. I'm going to play queen g4 though. Although queen g4 is actually a horrible move because I just gave him f5. He didn't see it. He had f5 there, which is very good. Um, he goes knight c2. Okay, I'm going to play rook e4 here. If f5 I just take and then go rook f4. Now it's not as effective because if, if he had played f5 right here, after takes, takes, f2 is a huge weakness. But now because they included these two moves after f5 takes 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 i have rook f4 
I mean, assuming I'm not blundering something like this was a slight mistake from Gata. <clears throat> Maybe more than a slight mistake, actually. He might be in a lot of trouble here. Can't I just trade and go... Ch oh, wait. He has 91 at the end. Wait a second. Okay. I'm up on clock. No need to panic. Rook F8. Rook F8. Takes. Check. Takes. Knight E1. Queen E4. Check. King G2. Queen H5. H4. Yeah, that looks fine. Knight E1. Queen E4. Knight F3. King there. Yeah, it looks fine. This. Uh, I can also take me. Maybe, maybe I take first. Actually, I think I take first because he has to take. I take and then it's just to dodge anything. Let's take. Check, take, and I mean, 91, queen e4, of course. Or queen, uh, probably queen e4 is right. King g2, queen h5, and then h4. And I mean, I should be just winning here. Yeah, he plays queen c5. I guess his idea is to play knight h4. Doesn't really concern me. I mean, I can go queen e3. Queen b4 is also... Queen b4, knight h4. Okay, I'm thinking... Again, I feel like I'm thinking too long. I don't really know why, but... Let's think. Knight g5's idea. Um, oh, wait, wait, I'm getting too long. Tom, what am I doing? Um, I'm just going to play simple chess like queen e2. It's not a good move, by the way. It's like queen h5 or something. Is he have knight h... No, knight h5, knight e4. Oh, I'm getting sloppy. Okay. Um, Let's go uh, here, I guess. Takes, takes, knight c5, I block. Yeah, now, now I should be winning here. Um, here. What the heck am I doing, actually? GG. A little bit sloppy, but a win's a win. A little bit sloppy, but it's a win. Not super happy about it, but it'll, it'll do. Thank you to West Mantillas for the 13th. They Aiden for the Prime and WC327. Thank you so much. Newer one FPS for three bucks. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, thank you, Jayhawk Jack, for the 24 months. Um, eat my what? Exactly. Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. We got the win. Oh, we're now four, <laughs> four out of four. Let's keep going. Um, we're going to have a six-minute break uh, now after round number four. So... Yes. A3 win versus Gotti equals plus one report. Obviously, obviously he's going to report me. No doubt. So, yeah, of course, obviously. <laughs> anyway, we got to win four out of four. We're going to be on the break in a second. Um, let's pull up Polish Fighter's game. Polish Fighter is losing. Do the dude get steamrolled by um, FM Ilya Grigorov. Thank you so much to Nathan McCrary for the 22 months. Thank you so much to Nathan McCrary. Um, appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, yeah. All right. Did I hear about Magnus getting food poisoning? Yes, I did hear about it. Um, I did hear about it. So, yeah, not good at any rate. But, you know, like I said, I struggled. I had food problems when I was there. Like, my stomach was really bothering me throughout the entire, um, uh, throughout the entire event. So, yeah. Yeah. First line moves indeed, you guys. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoy watching you find a way out of unfavorable positions. <laughs> Hilarious, yeah. Hilarious, yeah. All right. Um, okay, four out of four. We're going to watch the rest of the round, then we'll take a short break. Um, what do we have, like, F5, F6? Okay, uh, Baku Boulevard will win here. Do I play any esports titles? What do you think caused your stomach issues? Obviously, it was food. Uh, they don't poison the food, you guys. It's just your stomach has issues, yeah. Bluebaum also had problems in 2016. Okay, I mean... Like I said, I just I struggled throughout the entire time I was there. It was basically only only day um only the final day that I was relatively okay. But every other day it was I struggled. The food I mean the food tasted good when I ate the food, but I I struggled a lot. And I know I mean it can't just be like randomly because when I was in Turkey I was eating much of the same kind of food and um and I didn't have any stomach issues whatsoever. Maximus is playing right here. Maximus is playing uh, Rook and Knight versus Rook. Um, 
Maximus already drew a game, by the way. Yeah. He already drew a game, so he's gonna draw a second game. Yeah. I think there's I am boosted for the 22 months. Thanks so much to I am boosted. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. It's not the dude, but the water. I mean, but you get bottled water, obviously. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Okay. Um, Maxim's game finally ends in a draw. I think that's probably the last game of the round. Um, let's see what the standings are here. Okay, end of the round. We're going to be on a six-minute break, you guys. I'm going to take a short break, go use the restroom. We'll come back, probably splash some water on my face to try and, try and wake up a bit more. So we'll be back in one second, you guys. Let's keep going. Let's go A6. Now, this guy's 2967, so this guy is a very serious player, but um, we're going to keep, keep sticking to our St. George's defense in honor of King St. George. I assume from Scotland, but maybe from London or from the UK. Um, I should be careful what I say, because when I say uh saint George. actually saint george is probably like was he a king or a saint i don't know i don't know who saint george was i know who saint joseph was i don't know who saint george was but anyway whatever i, I don't even know what i'm saying I'm, I'm just making no sense at all let's just take and go knight f6 i guess i mean my pawns are a little bit crooked here they're a little bit weird weirdly placed but should be okay i'll stay with g pawn play rook g8 um actually i suspect what i've done is fairly dubioso as always now i'm gonna try to play like nijat abasov and, and crush him on the g file here he's gonna play that very solid approach for my opponent i'm gonna go rook g8 maybe maybe queen c7 probably i'm castling long at some point we'll see when i choose to castle long but i'm gonna castle long at some point i'll start with queen c7 then i'm gonna castle um i can play a bomb oh oh yeah should i play a bond cloud i mean i know it's not best it's not best but who cares let's play a bond cloud actually it's really not best um really not best I, I didn't see that he had c4 um wait a second I'm still probably okay though if I'm precise here like maybe knight e5 I can also go e5 I can also go rook g8 I think I'm just gonna go rook g8 keep it simple here I'm take with a pawn I'm in some trouble here this is not what I wanted to do I, I did not I just missed it he had c4 I thought I was just gonna be in plenty of time and I just missed the c4 c5 idea <sighs> but we'll see what he does it was rookie one I kind of expect that I assume I can play knight again I have 95 here which looks correct e5 always a move I think I'm gonna go 95 though to trade Does he have knight of four? I hope he doesn't have knight of four here. Um, let's see. If I get the wooden shield though with the bishop, I probably am okay. He does play it. Okay. So I have rook g5 here. I also have knight g6. G5, knight e6. Takes, takes. I mean, that's not the end of the world. Um g5 there is queen h3 I think knight g6 is actually I think it's the best move with knight e6 I take if takes I just take and take and oh I just blundered actually I just blundered or no, I didn't blunder. I can just take. Wait, no, I can't. I just blundered. Oh fudge! I miss queen takes c5. <sighs> Crud. Okay, I can try to play on, but uh, this is terrible. <sighs> I didn't see queen takes c5 check. Okay, now I just have to try to survive. Um, I don't like rook d5, actually. Because now I have rook e8. Like, I'm obviously worse here, but it's not like lost. Like, it's bad, but it's not just. Let's go here. 
If I get Knight of Thade and I can... Oh, he's got Queen G4, which of course I missed too. I mean, I have Queen H5 here with Queen D1. I mean, I'm still worse, but I can maybe save the game now. Okay. Do I block or do I move my queen is also a question. I think I move my queen here and try to play like H5. I mean, if I can blockade with the knight here, I have serious chances to win the game. Like H5 and H4 now, like... I have serious, not win, sorry, but draw the game. I have serious chances to save the game now. It's not to say that I will save the game, but I have real chances to save it. Like, much better than I deserve, that's for sure. Like, I legitimately can... I, I legitimately have chances to survive this game now that I don't deserve. I go queen d4 and he takes... Yeah, I think I go here. F3. Okay, don't go queen a1. <sighs> that was such a bad move. Although I have c4 maybe. Takes, takes. I don't have queen d1. Maybe I go like... I'm gonna go here. Come on, come on. <sighs> I'm like, I'm struggling to stay in it. Yeah, I'm really struggling. I'm starting to feel this, this classic title Tuesday fatigue setting in again as usual. I do have check check and a draw. Queen f4 is actually a draw, I think. Check. No, it's not a draw. Okay, wait, it's not a draw. I think King G6 is a threefold. I got him. Or did I? Let's take. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's go. I got him. What a win. Oof. Got him. Thank you to Clark Asher for the five. Thank you to Admin. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got him with the fork. I forked his king and his queen. That was very bad, but I get the win. Yeah, Bong Cloud is too OP, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, the Bong Cloud is too OP. I agree. I agree. But, yep. Let's keep going. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm totally feeling the title Tuesday fatigue. Like, it's setting in. Like, it's just like, can I actually overcome it or not? That's the question. It always happens when I stream, like, nonstop. So we're, we're at, like, what? We're, like, I mean, we're nearly eight hours into the stream. Like, yeah, when I, when I try to play the series events after a long stream, it, it always catches up. Maybe chess one T, but uh, I was able to get the win, so now it's time to, like, be serious. Yeah, it's a very serious swindle. Yeah. Yeah. Please, bro, no word openings. Yeah, yeah. Only eight hours short stream. Yeah, St. George was blessing me. I agree. Yeah. St. George was definitely blessing me in that game for sure. So anyway, a big shout out to 15,000 of you guys who are watching on this very fine Tuesday afternoon. Um, you said yesterday it was likely you wouldn't stream today. No, it said I was not going to stream the Magnus Prague li game live. Tomorrow, I think I will actually stream the game live. Um, so I think tomorrow we will be we will be doing that. I think I adopted the dark for the 500 bits. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. But yeah, tomorrow I'm pretty sure we will be. Ali Reza got crushed. Okay. 
Ja. Ja. Eight hours is too much. I don't, it's not about eight hours being too much. The problem is that when I play these competitive events, it, it's like, it's just different playing competitive versus playing like casual blitz. Like casual blitz is different. It's just different. That's the thing. So a match at crazy number state. That's not surprising at all. You guys considering that there are probably so many Indians who are following the match. So I'm not shocked at all. I mean, when you have uh when you, when you have uh 1 billion people living in your country, at least like I mean, 100, uh, like even 100,000 is not a big number when you have a billion. But of course, uh, it, it's it's a really big number um, relative to like uh, to to overall. Need a beer and wings. I mean, that's the thing when you have a massive number like that. Like that's what I think everybody was hoping with with China was that because China is like what three billion people. Everyone was hoping that like even if it's like one percent of Chinese people following the World Championship match, that would be a big boost. But Chinese people just didn't follow the match at all. Clean a hum up for the 13 months, appreciate it. So, I mean, I think that was the big hope. It's like everyone's hoping that uh, that, that they're going to follow, and then it's like, nope. Nope. Okay, let's go um, Night F3 this time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually, sorry. Audio is chat. Um, let's go B3. So I got nothing against Jeffrey. I don't even remember what I played against him earlier. I'm going to play Bishop A3 again. Oh, yeah, yeah. He played, um, what did he play? Somehow I messed it up where, like, I, I got a bad position. I think I played, like, some C4, C5. No, actually, I played A3 with C4, C5. I didn't play as Bishop A3, so it was completely different. Let's go E3. I'm going to go C4 next move. Was this song actually about just a random brandy, or was this actually about the brandy, the R&B one? Um, now I can obviously take, can play knight c3. He's gonna go c6. I don't know. I'm just gonna go knight c3. Like when they say brandy, are they actually talking about the brandy from the 90s, or is it like about just, I mean, just some someone else? I wonder. Uh, I'm gonna go d3 here, maybe bishop e2 and castles. I assume it's probably just someone else, but it just made me think of her. Um, Question is, will he go King G8 and King H7? That's a big question here. Uh, I'm not really sure. He, he may do it. He may not do it. I don't really have a strong read either way. He's using a lot of time, which is interesting. So, yeah. So, he's probably going to go King H7 here. Manually cast the King. Now, I don't know if I have E4. My instinct says I probably have some trick here. But I don't actually see it. So, I'm just going to go Knight H4 and go after the Bishop. Because now he no longer can retreat. This looks slightly sus. I'm gonna go work C1. Maybe I'll try to take. I don't know. He can't really move the bishop ever, so. Doesn't look right to me. Doesn't look right at all. Like, this should be better for me if I'm precise, but being precise here is not going to be easy. Like, D4 is an obvious move. I'm going to play queen d2, which probably isn't right either, but it's a slow move. I think I misplayed this. This, was, this wasn't this was right. I, I know this wasn't right. Go here, put pressure on the diagonal. Oh. Let's see what he plays. Um... I had queen b4, but I think there was d4, so I didn't play because of the pressure on the file. So I sidestepped it. I am way up on time, however, which may or may not play a role down the road. We'll see. It was d4. I was wondering. I was wondering if Jeffrey was actually going to play d4. I mean, it's an interesting option. I can take the pawn. Um, One ninety four, queen c two, or do I take trade him back? I think. I think I'm just gonna take. I'm, I'm gonna trust my instinct that takes is correct. And I mean, I'm up a pawn here. It doesn't mean like I'm winning or anything, but I'm up a pawn. 
If it's not good enough, so be it. I mean, it's it's a pawn though. Okay, goes knight e4. Now, first of all, I can take, but I thought I could play queen c2. Actually, no, wait, I wait, I have queen e3 also. No, but queen e3 takes six, knight e6, bishop f3, rook e3, c7, knight b5. No, it doesn't work. Queen e3 almost works, but it doesn't. So let's go here. Oh, I could have played. I should have gone queen f4. I'm such a. Queen f4 was actually close to winning. I'm just up a pawn. Ugh. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Queen f4, and I probably would have just won the game. So bad. Yeah, queen up, queen f4 here. Queens come off, and I almost certainly win the game. Not good. Uh, G6 hangs upon an H6. I think he actually forgot that he was hanging this. Yeah, I think he just forgot that the pawn was hanging. And now I'm up two pawns, and I, I mean, I really should win this now. Uh, I think I have Rook C4, maybe. I still have to be careful how I play this. Rook C4. Oh, wait, no, because takes, takes this. It's an ice skater. Okay, what am I smoking? I guess I'll just uh, trade and maybe go like Queen E3. Or H. Actually, H4 looks pretty good just to go H5. Like, he has knight c3, knight e2, but I have h5, and I should just be very good. Of course, I did miss rook c2, which is pretty much unconscionable, but what the heck? To go here. I mean, this is not going to be easy to win now. I still should be better. Go here. I think I should play Bishop D5 and probably Bishop C4. I think I am actually winning here, but it's going to take a lot of technique still. Um, well, first of all, I can take a seven. Rook A7, Knight D3. Yeah, I think Rook A7 is just winning. If I just take and he can't go up. Yeah, I just take, can't come up because of the ice skater. And then once I take this one, I mean, I mean, this should just be winning. He does have Knight one I realize, but... Again, it's hard to believe that this isn't winning. I just take. Because now I'm up, what, four pawns? If he takes, king up one wins. Resigns, we get the win. Six out of six. Good stuff. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. 